So probably nothing is more important than the way we see the world and what we consider real. And here there have been big changes over the centuries. From the flat earth with seven heavens above it that we had in the Middle Ages, scholastic system, and then on up till today, you know, there have been a lot of things happening. Today this earth is a small ball hanging in a universe, you know, with countless galaxies, with black holes, with all kinds of, of fantastic, you know, fantastic appearances and so on. And it's actually, it's all there and it can all be, be experienced. But if we really look at it, it is an illusion. All these things that we take to be so real, that we focus so much upon, if we really look at them, they have no basis, no solidity. They cannot stay. If we split an atom, and we keep splitting it, we go from the positrons, protons, neutrons and electrons down to the quarks, down to the smallest quarks, and bash those against each other, it's like they do in CERN, now in Geneva, like they did before in, in the Desi in Germany, north of Hamburg, then we see that actually there is no solid thing from which the world appears. On the other hand, if we make boxes with absolutely no particles in them, particles will reappear. And today, being and non-being doesn't seem to be two opposite things. It seems to be like two sides of the same totality. If nothing is there, things appear. If we look at that which appears, it disappears back into space, like that. And this is actually a very great freedom. The fact that it is like that is something really wonderful. And it has brought many people to the statement that mind is essentially space. That mind is really that this is what we truly are, space. And what the world around us is, is also space. If we look at it, we can say it's mind. Why? Because mind is on the one side space, on the other side this space plays with itself, expresses things, ex experiences things, and finally it also acts and it experiences joy and compassion comes up naturally. This space, if we really look at it, has awareness, it's able to know and understand, it plays freely, it's rich and, and joyful, and it naturally expresses compassion. It works for the benefit of all beings, it expresses its potential and so on. So this is what you can say about reality. It's wide open, it's radiant space, and it can be experienced and it's experiencing itself right now through us and through what happens here.